Hey everybody, welcome back to My Wings of Refuge. I'm so excited today because we're going to make some mustard pickles or what I call mustard pickle relish. I'm so excited about it because this is one of Melissa K. Norris's famous grandma's recipe and uh, she writes some of the most amazing books. I love her, uh, her blog, her uh, Instagram, and her YouTube videos. So if you haven't seen her, you might want to check her out. And I will put a link to that in the bio down below. But she makes some amazing recipes, and this is one of her family favorites. So this is what we're making today. With this relish, what I call relish, you can put it on hot dogs, you can put it on hamburgers, you can use it on salads, you can use it as a spread, you can use it as a dip. There's so many different things you can do with it, and I absolutely love to make things of hers. So, uh, I'm actually going to start here and picking some cucumbers right off the vine to get started. So we know we want six cups of cucumbers diced up. So I've got a measuring bowl here and I'm going to slice my cucumbers until I get six cups. You can cut these as small or as large as you want. I like to cut mine fairly small. Now we want two cups of onions diced. Okay, so we have eight cups of water and a cup of pickling salt. And so now we're just going to mix in our salt and our water and give it a little stir. It's cold water, so it's not going to mix super well, but that's okay. We're just going to stir it for a minute. And then we're going to pour this over our vegetables here of cucumbers and onions. Every little drop. Okay, give it a little stir. And I'm going to stir it fairly often to make sure what's on top is also getting submerged as much as possible. So we'll check back in, in an hour. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, we're gonna let this sit and uh, drain for a little bit while we get everything else ready. Okay, so now we're ready to get started. Um, so I'm gonna start with a half a cup of water. Then I want to add in six tablespoons of our dry mustard. Four tablespoons of white sugar. You can add more, up to a cup if you like it really sweet. I don't want mine really sweet. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of turmeric. And I want to add, oops, two tablespoons of salt. She recommends celery salt. Um, I don't have celery salt and I'm going with salt. Okay, we're gonna turn our heat up. We're gonna give this a good stir. Okay, so now that it is uh, starting to simmer and thicken up a little bit, we're gonna add in our vinegar. We want four cups of either apple cider vinegar or a 5% white vinegar. We want to continue to stir this until it starts to simmer a little bit. And in the meantime, I've got my uh, canning jars in the canner of the water bath canner and I've got them on high, getting them ready so they can be bubbling and we want them nice and sterile and hot. And I've got my lids on an eye here on about medium heat, just keeping them warm. So we will be ready to rock, okay? Since I'm not using any type of sure gel or anything like that because I don't like to add anything like that that's unnecessary to my canning, um, mine will be a little bit thinner. You're welcome to add a little sure gel if you like. And But mine has reduced. And now I'm ready to add in my cucumbers and onions. Carefully so not to splash yourself. We've added in our cucumbers and our onions, and now we're just turning the heat back up and waiting for it to come to a boil. After it comes to a really good boil, we'll turn the heat down and let it do a light simmer for about five minutes. Our water nice and hot. Turn this down to low. We're ready to fill our jars with a half inch headspace. Got several different sized jars here because I want several different ones.
perfect. Okay, so now I like to take either a wet paper towel. I like to wet it usually with a white vinegar just to make sure this is really clean. There's nothing on these rims because if there's anything on them, it will keep them from sealing well for you. we will put our lids on. Now for our rings, just finger tight. Now we're ready to put them in the water bath. Make sure the water is at least an inch above the highest jar. We're going to cover this and as soon as it starts to actively boil we'll set the timer for 10 minutes. I love when there's a little bit left over because then I get to put it in the refrigerator and enjoy it now. I'm going to turn that off. Turn off the heat. And I'm going to take this lid and just set it off. And I'm going to let these bubbles die down just a tiny bit. Then I'll raise it up and let it cool. Now the bubbles have died down. I'm just going to raise these up. Did you hear that? That's always exciting! I'm going to carefully, gently set these down. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Next week, you don't want to miss the video. I'm so excited because we have a new addition coming to the farm and you don't want to miss it. <laughs>